Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel, the Messy Minimalist. For this week's video, we are gonna tackle unusable spaces. At this point in my journey, we have pretty much shown you guys everything there is to see in my house. But there's a few spaces here that we haven't shown and we've kept out of sight because quite frankly, they're embarrassing and I didn't want anyone to see them. And I just wasn't sure even how to get started. Let me show you my biggest unusable space it's under the stairs. Under the stairs is right now kind of a catch-all for Christmas stuff and extra mudroom stuff and technology stuff and as you're gonna see a turtle. There's literally everything you can think of underneath this stair space. It's just no rhyme or reason. It's just kind of there and we're finally ready to get into it and try to make it into a usable space. So I think that one of the things that makes unusable spaces so tough is just that, that they don't have a purpose and so therefore we don't know what to do with them. A space doesn't have to be unusable. It's kind of up to us what we do with our spaces, but if we find a spot that just accumulates junk, we oftentimes call it a junk room and we're happy with that, but as you're all probably feeling and so am I, I don't have any time or space for junk rooms. I no longer want those in my life and I definitely don't want space in my home that is unusable. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it. Once we get the stuff out of there, I don't just wanna clean it back up and call it good. I want to give it purpose. I feel like if we don't give it purpose, it's just gonna stay the same junky under the stair space that it already is. What makes this kind of a particularly good video for right now and maybe you guys as you're looking at your spaces and you're thinking about where you wanted to clutter next you might want to go find a spot like this too it's the spot that you store your seasonal stuff if you have a great place where every year you put your seasonal stuff back you take it off put it back and you feel like it's a good system awesome good for you I don't have that I have a spot which is under the stairs that stuff just gets thrown. So we'll have seasonal stuff there, but we'll also have seasonal stuff in our garage. We at one point had seasonal stuff in our junk room and it's just kind of everywhere. So I don't just want to make this the seasonal spot, but it makes it very easy for me to go through it now because I know that with Christmas around the corner, I'm going to be decorating. So it's a good excuse for me to get all my seasonal things out and then just to go through that stuff and figure out what do we even want to keep. If you guys are at the point where you're thinking about decorating, you are are pulling out those items now's the time to decide what you want to decorate with and if you find a seasonal thing that you're not gonna go decorate with probably just donate it that's what I'm doing and I definitely encourage you guys to do the same so I think that pretty much covers it you've now seen the space that we're working with it's pretty messy so I need to get to work getting some stuff out of there I'm basically gonna be treating this like a typical messy minimalist declutter video so you're gonna see me going through there figuring out what I need and what I don't need a little bit of KonMari inspired but also just a little bit of do you love it do you need it do what you want to just donate it it's pretty straightforward it's definitely been working for me and let's just get in there in a while we find stuff from the previous owners that's specifically relating to the motel. Well, why would we throw this stuff away? Maybe we'll use it sometime. So we end up storing it and then forgetting about it and then rediscovering it. So in here I found a box of 500 pieces of pre-packaged sugar packets, napkins, and straws. That's good to have. Technically they're still good I guess, but I don't know. So a couple other things that we found. Cushions. I'm not even sure why I still have them. Foam is kind of expensive. I'll say that. I know for sure that foam is kind of expensive. So in my mind, this was a I'll do it later project, but we're going to get rid of these. This particular under the stairs closet has a lot of Christmas stuff. A lot. All kinds of little ornaments, you know, three in one here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just a bunch of ornaments. We're not gonna use them. And this is just extra stuff that I could care less about. We don't need this stuff. So 
this is gonna go. Soy Delights. Ooh, legitimately smells bad. These are really old, we're not gonna use these. This is trash. Same with this and this. This is the kind of thing where you see it, it doesn't even have a candle that goes to it. It's just the top. It's completely meaningless. I'm pretty sure the only reason it's here is out of sheer laziness. Why would we keep these? And you know, just kind of miscellaneous stuff, like this old lamp that we're never gonna use, kids clothes and stuff that don't fit anymore, picture frames, which we're just getting rid of, and so much more stuff. Salt. Oh. I can only hear like 10 grains moving around and the rest of it's just one big block. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me get some more of this stuff out of here and then we'll see what else I can find. So we got the turtle out of the room. That was a pretty big endeavor. So thankfully that's done. The other portion of this room is behind me, which actually tucks behind our stairs. And that is a spot that just collects stuff. Some of the main stuff that it has is holiday decorations. And Christmas is the one holiday that I like to decorate for at least a little bit. There's definitely a lot of conflicts that I have when it comes to how much decorations to keep, how much I should donate and just be done with and I'm still struggling with that. I definitely do need to get through some of it and what better time than right now to decide what I want to put out this year because whatever I don't put out this year as a decoration is going to be donated. All of that stuff is tucked behind this doorway and I'm going to grab it all out and hopefully find some other stuff too that is just things we don't need. Let's just see what I find. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty much at a point where I feel like I have to talk to you guys about this stuff because I really can't dig out more of it without having all these thoughts and feelings and I just have to express them. So I now have a pathway to actually get back here so I can kind of see what I have in here. There's a lot of Christmas stuff back here which is pretty much what I expected. Nevertheless, there's still stuff here where I'm like, ah, really? Why? Anyway, some of the first stuff that I found when I pulled boxes out. All right, here's a bunch of Christmas lights. Oh wire in here. I think are probably still good, but we have made the very conscious decision to not go so overboard this year with crazy Christmas stuff. It's a lot of effort to get stuff out, and then it kind of sits out there till like springtime. It might have been like March last year. Exterior decorations are such a pain in the butt sometimes, and they don't store well. They never do. They end up in a big tangled mess. It's a ton of heartache. So while these are cute and believe me they are especially when they're out on the house 
they're actually just not worth the heartache. We're gonna donate these to somebody who wants to deal with them, because I don't. This next box that I found, I'm really excited about it. I'm like, all right, we're getting into our like Christmas goodies. And I opened it, and let me just kind of give you a, like, a sneak peek, if you can see that. It's a box full of boxes. Inside of those boxes is nothing. 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 Literally, it's a box full of empty boxes because last year we didn't put the ornaments back in their proper boxes. We stored this here all last year. So if you can think about it, this incredibly crammed space with just a bunch of boxes filled with other boxes. Like it sounds like a Dr. Seuss book, boxes upon boxes. A little bit frustrating. It's like the genuine emotions that are going through my head are just like, why? Why didn't we put them back in the boxes to begin with? Why didn't we look and see what was in it? I mean, lots of questions are coming. I'm willing to let it go and just be done with it. Yeah. Get rid of all these boxes. So just kind of miscellaneous other lights that I know didn't make it out last year and they're not going to make it out this year so we're just going to get rid of them. You can never have too many extension cords. I guess that's one thing where that sounds like a very maximalist thing to say but I do just genuinely feel that extension cords are one of those priceless items that are good to have around. So I'm going to keep the extension cords and the timer that's in here. We've got like some old style larger bulbs some LED ones. I don't know. I don't even want them. I wish I wasn't looking at them. All right, here we go. Another really great find is this tote that has two lids, neither of which are properly on the tote, which is just another testament to how sloppy we get around holiday times. Just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in it. So the tote itself is actually like a third of the way full. It's a complete tote faux pas. It's got some good treasures in here. Yeah. A strand of lights that we don't use. Don't need them. Garbage bag. And then just a bunch more assorted lights. And a pair of garden scissors. Yeah. So I'm going to finish going through this and then I'm going to see if I can get some muscles to help me with these big printers. We have two of them in here and other than that we're pretty close to being done. I've got my Christmas tree behind me and a box of ornaments and stuff that's going to go on the tree but otherwise the space is pretty well cleared out other than looking just kind of junky. So at this point we're pretty much done with this episode. My thought is that this room can be a lot more usable. I mean, I know I said it in the beginning, but I still feel like this room has so much potential to be something. I don't even know what. Office nook of some kind, a pantry. It could be our printer room where we just keep some technology that's a little bit more organized. I don't know, it could be a playroom for our kiddo. I'm just honestly trying to figure out like what do we want this space to be because I know that if I don't give this room a purpose, then it is just gonna be the room that everything gets dumped in again. And I definitely don't want it to be that anymore. Part of the reason that it got so full of stuff to begin with is because it didn't have a purpose. 
we need to change that. So I guess that is it for this room. I am excited to hear what you guys think we should do with it. Definitely we can put up some more drywall, finish the space, give it a coat of paint, and then honestly, I don't know. So you tell me what you think. I've got a page that I just started on our blog that is basically all about ideas and kind of thoughts for what this space is going to become. So you can either tune in on my blog, MessyMinimalist.com, or you can leave some ideas in the comments here. And definitely, I am 100% open. Anything at all that you guys think of, I would love to know. Oh, and really quick, because I know I'm going to get people asking. So I pulled a lot of stuff out of here. One of the things that you're probably wondering is like, well, what did you just do with all that stuff you pulled out? Anything that isn't being donated is either holiday decorations that I just put up around the house or like my Christmas tree type stuff that is going to be put up right after Thanksgiving. That's the kind of thing that when that holiday is over, I'm going to have to figure out where to put that stuff again. Maybe it comes back in here to be stored. I don't know. The point being is anything else that came out of here was pretty much junk. Again, there's still a few things in here like some poster type stuff and a few pieces of technology. Five or six mirrors came out of here and those are all going to go into our motel rooms because we're upgrading some of the decorations in there. So those are just being temporarily stored but that's the kind of thing that I just pulled them out and they are going to go get put up on a wall. So that is just to answer anyone's question who might be wondering what we did with all that stuff. Other than that, we are done. We're good. So thank you again for tuning in. Thank you to all my patrons for their contributions on patreon.com. And thanks for everybody who's been hanging out on my blog. Again, I love keeping in touch with you guys and seeing some of the comments that you have to the articles there. So thanks. Thanks to everybody. Thanks to you. I can't wait to read your comments and I will talk to you guys later. Did you not know where I was? Award for the most random stuff. It's not a Pringles can. I mean, it is a Pringles can, but there's not Pringles in it. It's a bunch of seashells. Flattened pennies. Earring without a mate. And a tooth. This is my tooth. When I was a child, I have a tooth from when I was a child. I hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving. Wow, Thanksgiving's definitely going to be passed by the time I'm done. How sad. I cannot get videos out fast enough. Okay.